So today we are at Boca and I'm here with Chef Matt and we have some beautiful Silver Fern Farms strip loin. Tell us how you made it. Tell us what you did. So what I did, I took the, uh, like a big piece of strip loin, mm -hmm. then I put it in the oven for around one and a half hour, more or less. Okay. I'm going to back it up because I would marinate it. Oh, no, I've, I've already done something wrong. Okay. This is a beautiful product on its own mm -hmm. and you don't want to, in my, in my opinion, my mm -hmm. cooking style, so to say, I don't want to like compromise that. I wouldn't okay. want to like camouflage it with like too many spice or something. So I really like to keep this natural as possible. Because mm -hmm. then what we do later and when we plate it, we'll, uh, we'll garnish it up. So to get you through the whole process, mm -hmm. um, so I put it in the oven 85 degrees, four and a half hours, as I said, um, just slowly. And then um, don't sear it at all, because then really the fat like from the top goes inside the meat, the fat that's inside will start melting. And you're giving me something that I could do the day before, and then I could prepare oh, yeah. on the day. We'll just, just be done with it. Okay. The beauty of this one is because it's grass fat. Mm -hmm. It's very sustainable, like it's really like free range cows, you know, they're always outside. If I'm going to the store and I see grass fed and grain fed, I think like, okay, but what does that really mean? So you say uh, grass fed. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's more organic. Okay. It's more like the t texture, the fattiness, it mm -hmm. could be more intense. And the taste um, ultimately is going to be a, yeah. a cow that's raised on grass and grass for most of its life that's going to translate into a better product really at the end of the day. What, what am I going to put with this? Um, I add eggplant, roasted eggplant aioli, okay. uh, mushroom and with truffle vinaigrette and then some like local herbs and, um, and flowers. And that sounds quite kind of like organic, kind of earthy. Yeah. Is there a reason behind yeah. that? Because okay. um, for example, like there's uh, like a line or a pattern in nature. Mm -hmm. For example, everything that has the same color, believe it or not, it, it pairs, okay. it goes together. Beetroot and cherry goes mm -hmm. together. It does. You know, tomato yeah. and strawberry, it goes together. Uh -huh. So uh, beef and beef, this grass fed beef would yes. go well with. So, yeah, yeah, so exactly. So they eat off the ground. Uh -huh. So they already have like a little bit earthy taste. Yeah. So it also makes sense to pair that with like, you know, mushrooms, stuff that also grows throughout the grass. Um, yeah, egg Getting so hungry, and all that. Like, like yes. Mostly, yeah. <laughs> Always happy to see the chef. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Mm -hmm. So here it is. This is our slow roaster strip loin with uh, eggplant, uh, smoked eggplant aioli, marinated mushrooms in a truffle vinaigrette, then some uh, local cresses, some local flowers, and then season with salt and pepper and albacrin olive oil. Looks amazing. Thank, Thank you. Please yeah. enjoy. Get into it. So we've got um, the Torres Mas La Plana. So this is 100% Cabernet from a single vineyard in Canidas. Tell me more about a cab. Is it something that's readily available? Can I find it? You know, is it available from every country? Um, tell me about the varietal. Yeah, so um, Cabernet is one of the most widely planted grapes um, and it performs really well in a lot of different um, countries and climates. So there is a Cabernet available at every price point. Um, some of the most premium wines in the world are Cabernet, but also it can deliver uh, quite well in hotter climates um, for a really affordable price point. And it always has the right structure to work with a dish like this. So strip loin has a lot of marbling, has a lot of fat in it. So you need a dish that has a good whack of acid and then also gives you some tannin, so that drying sensation, that plays really well with a higher fat cut of meat. They kind of, um, it cleanses the palate and refreshes your palate for it. I like sustainability. I like knowing uh, that the end to end on Silver Fern Farms, uh, it's not just about the uh, sustainable practices with, um, you know, maybe the cows themselves, but also cutting back on carbon and cutting back on plastic and all points that they can do it. Are we, and we're at Boca, which is a very uh, sustainably driven restaurant. Tell me we have a third piece of the puzzle. We do. Um, Familia Torres, they take uh, their commitment to biosustainability very seriously. Um, they do have some organic wines, but when we use the term sustainable, it means that we're looking at the vineyard in a really holistic way. So it's about making sure that we've got um, kind of diverse insect and plant species in the vineyard that will encourage uh, soil health, which in turn will create better wines and a uh, and wine industry that can last for generations. So that's um, a really important part of the Familia Torres commitment and ties in beautifully with everything that we've got going on today. I'm expecting some really nice flavor bridging here because of that mushroomy character with the tertiary wines of this older uh, tertiary nuts of this older wine as well. This beef is so good, like it's so good. <laughs>
Well, I wanted to take a moment and actually thank Silver Fern Farms for providing such a beautiful piece of beef and Boca and Chef Matt for putting together a dish that I actually think I could make at home. Absolutely. And also a big thank you to Familia Torres for this beautiful bottle of Masla Plana. Um, while we are treating ourselves today, um, the key takeaway here is Cabernet and a beautiful fatty cut of uh, beef are a fantastic easy pairing that win every time. Yep, and if you would, we'd love to see what you're doing in the kitchen. So uh, find us on social and tag us. And um, to that we say uh, happy holidays.